In this short video, I'm going to show you how I used a stop motion app on the iPads with my students to animate biological processes. There are several examples of processes that could be animated. These are just for biology. I'm sure you could think of some in your own subject. In preparation, it's useful to have color plasticine, color card and Ziploc bags for the students to store their models in. To start with, I provided the students with the theory regarding the process they were to learn. In this case, it was protein synthesis, transcription and translation. So they did this during class and they also watched the videos on my YouTube website for their assignments as homework. Coming into the next lesson prepared with notes, students were asked to demonstrate what they understood by creating an animation of the process using the app Stop Motion HD on the iPads. As you can see, the students use color plasticine to create the different structures that were involved in the process of protein synthesis. They laid these over a colored card background and used a stop motion app to capture a sequence of images that when played back, demonstrated their understanding of how the process took place. Using this method, the students really had to think about the way in which the structures interacted with each other over a period of time to achieve the final objective. They worked in teams of two and three, and this peer support allowed them to give constructive criticism to each other in order to correct their understanding as the animation was being created. The whole process used two lessons, one 70 minute and one 50 minute, and then the students worked on the editing outside of the class. Narration can be added using the stop motion app, but most students preferred to transfer the animation to their computer and narrate using iMovie. Once completed, students' animations were assessed by a given set of criteria provided in advance. The students uploaded their animations to a shared Google Drive. At this point, it's also possible to engage the students in peer assessment. The students can watch other groups' videos from the shared Google Drive and provide other groups with constructive critique. As a result of this process, students' understanding can be consolidated and you as a teacher can see where there may be misunderstandings in a process that need to be further addressed. For example, in biology here, the tRNA's anticodon matches with the mRNA codon, but the student doesn't show three bases in the mRNA's codon. In addition, only the large subunit of the ribosome has been moved, when in fact, both the small and the large subunits would move together. In this case, the student does correct this later. I personally have found that using this kinesthetic activity in my teaching has really pushed students to think deeper, ask more questions and achieve a more comprehensive understanding of the subject matter. What kinds of processes could students animate in your subject?